this video, we'll talk about topoisomerase. These enzymes catalyze the changes in DNA topology by transient breaks in the DNA. Now, DNA undergoes a lot of problems. One of them is a supercoiling problem. Let's try to understand that by using this thread analogy. So, these two threads are entangled with each other. And let's say you are trying to relieve this kind of strain by separating each of these strands. You can do it from the end and after a certain point of time, you would see that strands is getting more entangled and getting more torsional stress. So this is how we can understand a supercoiling problem. And this problem is faced by the DNA all the time inside the nucleus of the cell where it has to be packed into a defined volume. Imagine the situation for an E. coli cell. In one experiment, the cell of E. coli was burst open and the huge amount of DNA was pulled all around. Imagine how E. coli can really package this much amount of DNA into a small volume. And this is all possible due to this supercoiling effect. So the overall topology of the DNA has to be taken care of. But who takes care of this problem? But before that, try to understand that this problem is really important, especially in context of several molecular biology processes like replication or transcription. If the topological problem is not taken care of, these biological processes would not take place. So obviously, for the survival of the uh, cell, these processes need to go on. And that is why topological problems has to be taken care of. One of the enzymes that take care of this problem is topoisomerase which is a class of enzyme that can relax and alter the topology of the DNA and it can introduce single or double strand breaks which are transient in nature and then it can allow the DNA to be unentangled or unwound and at the end of this process the DNA backbone is actually released. Now let's talk about the classification of topoisomerase. There are two categories of topoisomerase type 1 topoisomerase which cuts only single strand of the DNA and type 2 topoisomerase that cleaves both the strands. Let us try to understand the mechanism by looking at only one type of topoisomerase. Now before that, let me tell you that after the activity of topoisomerase, the DNA would lose its supercoils and it would be more relaxed just like in this particular image. You can see all the other uh, all the other loops of the chromosome are supercoiled, but in this particular loop, the DNA has lost its supercoil and now more relaxed. So this is type 1 topoisomerase, which can uh, give rise to a cut in one only one strand only, but there are type 2 topoisomerase which can cut both the strands, and after cutting the strand, it would proceed via swivel and strand passage mechanism. In a moment, it will be really clear. The range of reactions that is performed by super uh, uh, performed by these enzymes involves DNA supercoil, unknotting of the uh, single stranded circles, and decatenation. So the type one topoisomerase will use a tyrosine moiety as a source of nucleophile. This nucleophile will attack the DNA backbone and thereby creating a transient enzyme DNA adduct and the three prime hydroxyl group would be freed up. Then one strand in this particular case, look at the dark strand. This strand would be swiveled and passed through the other broken strand like this. You can see the initial position of the strand is marked by the dotted line and the final position is marked by the solid lines. And this light colored strand is now sealed by the topoisomerase enzyme. And this is how the topoisomerase takes care of the supercoiling problem and it relieves the extra torsion. Now we understood how topoisomerase type 1 works. Let us summarize the differences between topoisomerase type 1 and 2. We already noticed that topoisomerase type 1 cuts only one strand of the DNA, whereas topoisomerase type 2 cuts both the strand. When it comes to ATP hydrolyzing, Topoisomerase type 1 doesn't need ATP, whereas topoisomerase type 2 requires ATP. Now, we already looked at the uh, DNA breakage in one versus double, uh, one strand versus the both the strands. Then let's talk about the structure. So, topoisomerase type 1 is monomer, whereas type 2 is heterodimer. 
when it comes to changing the linking number which is a parameter to understand a dna topology topoisomerase 1 change the linking number strictly to 1 or in multiples of 1 topoisomerase type 2 change the linking number to 2 units plus minus 2 units so that pretty much summarizes the differences between these two enzymes and their function okay you can get all the flashcards and notes in my facebook channel you can get uh, many dynamic flashcards in my facebook page so link is provided in the description don't forget to check it out as usual don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support me on patreon my courses are present in an academy using our code ap10 you can